Wonder Woman 1984 in 3D, a December 2020 release due to COVID. It was released, I believe it was released on Disney. Uh, this is two and a half hours long. This is 1.78 aspect ratio and sometimes switches to 1.90 aspect ratio. Uh, Dolby English Digital 5.1 on the 3D disc. Um, this is currently 5.4 on Internet Movie Database, 58% critics, uh, critics approval score on Rotten Tomatoes, 73% audience approval score on Rotten Tomatoes, directed by Patty Jenkins. She did the first one, as you know, starring Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman or Diana Prince. Uh, Chris Pine as Steve. You've got Kristen Wiig as Barbara, you've got Pedro Pasquale as Maxwell Lord, and you got the young Diana, played by Lily Aspel. Uh, Gal Gadot was paid $10 million for this film, 33 times more than she got paid for the first film at $300,000, and she helped uh, produce this film. Um, one thing I want to say here, let's talk about the, the young lady that plays uh, Diana uh, when she was young. Uh, her name is uh, Lilia Spell. She did all her own stunts at 12 years old um, because she did the stunts better than the stunt people that they hired to do stunts for her. So she did all her own stunts, which I thought was pretty cool. I was really cool. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I'm going to make this. I'm not going to make this too long. Um, it is not as good as the first one. Uh, I don't like to compare movies, but you know what? I I really really like the first one. This one fell a little short here. Uh, that's 1984. Uh, she's living her life. Um, this this Pasquale, uh, Pedro Pasquale, he gets a hold of a certain uh, wish stone and changes uh, the way humanity is moving and what people are wishing for and things like that. Kristen Wiig is, plays a good part here. Look, Gal Gadot is solid. She's solid, the best Wonder Woman there'll ever be. Uh, Chris Pine is solid. But I got vested and Kristen Wiig's character, and I got vested in uh, this uh, Pedro Pasquale as Maxwell Lord character. I got vested in those guys, both of them, more than I did, uh, I hate to say this, more than I did Wonder Woman and, and, and you know, Chris Pine. That's just the way it went. That's the way it flowed. Um, now, look, I'm, I'm st I still recommend this movie. Um, I enjoy watching, anytime I can watch you know, Gal Gadot, absolutely gorgeous. And you got Kristen Wiig knocked it out of the park here. You got two very attractive gals here. And then they get into fights and stuff like that. I mean, it's all entertaining. The the the, the scenes, the battle scenes and stuff, uh, the action scenes, let me put it that way, very, very entertaining. All the action scenes uh, in the seat of, uh, at the seat of my pants for those. Um, let's talk about the 3D. The 3D was very, very good. I mean, you know... Great depths, great depths, um, great colors. You will have some stick outs. You're going to have stuff sticking out of the screen, people's heads and backs and stuff. You're going to have that whip coming out of the screen. Um, what really, the 3D at the best was on the chase scene, and you've seen it in the trailer, when she gets vaulted up in the air. And, um, and there's some bullets, those bullet scenes, those bullet scenes that seem to come from behind you in 3D and just disappear, come from behind you and then they just disappear right into the screen. Those bullet scenes are absolutely incredible. Those slow motion bullet scenes offer. So the 3D is definitely, definitely worth it. I mean, if you're going to pick this up, pick it up in 3D if you got 3D capability. It's going to be much better in 3D than it is in 2D. Um, that's about all I can say for it. There's some good moral things in here. Uh, you know, be careful what you wish for. Um, because, man, yeah, you got you got him. You got this this. I got vested in this uh, this Pasquale here, this Maxwell Lord. I mean, he really gets heartless here. That's the whole thing about this. Everybody, when they get what they want, they get heartless and they don't think about even even Wonder Woman. Okay, look, there's a little bit of spoilers here, but she got a wish that she wanted, and Steve says you need to you need to uh, give up that wish, you know, and get your strength back. Because uh, you know the, the, this having this power is, is not good, and Kristen Wiig, uh, she as Barbara, she really takes in some power. She gets a wish that she's always wanted because she plays a meek lady here. She gets that, and so there's some moral things here, which on the on the outside look really really good. I mean, really, I mean, you'll you'll feel it, you'll feel it, 
but I wasn't vested in the characters that were portraying that as much as I was, you know, in Pasquale and, uh, and Kristen Wiig. But anyway, that's my take on it. I really did enjoy it, though. I probably won't watch it again, but I do recommend it. If you got the first one, you want to complete your collection, get the second one. I mean, the 3D is better on this one than on the first one. There's no doubt about it. Starts right off, right away. The 3D is better on this one. All right, so Wonder Woman 1984. What am I going to do with it? Oh, I'm going to give it 3.75 for the movie, and I'm going to give it four and a half stars for the 3D. I would like to see just a little more pop-outs, a little more fly-outs to make it a five, but that's my take on it. So what did you think? Did you see it? Did you see it in 3D? Did you, uh, did you see it in 2D? Leave some comments below and let me know. What are your thoughts about this one uh, compared to the first one? What are your thoughts about Gal Gadot and, and, and her playing Wonder Woman? And your thoughts about Kristen Wiig. What about her character? I think she knocked it out of the park. I got so invested in her. And and, and Pedro Pasquale uh, as, as Maxwell Lord. Fantastic acting on that part. So leave some comments below, below. Let me know. I want you to have a good night. Hit that like and subscribe button. Stay safe. And as always, God bless.